said Fridiova and Tira would await me somewhere beyond these gates. This area is off limits. Finally, you made it. Careful. That sounded like you doubted me for a moment. What of your eyes? Are they mended? Getting there. Recovering. Thank the gods. You're welcome. Now then, show me what to do with this augmented sunstone. Einar? Alive, last I saw. But old and slow. We must begin without him. What are you doing here? Surely it cannot be so simple. No. This mechanism... What was it? I think yes. We need more light to convert. See what the light reveals. Yet the sunstone hungers. More light is needed. It is working. Eno was right. <laughs> the sunstone must be satisfied. Now the relic will be mine. Vault of the 
ancients. <sighs> Bloody and Couldn't have said it better myself. What is wrong? Why isn't it opening? Is there something wrong with the mechanism? Yeah, uh, about that. Uh, I'd feel a lot more confident if my father was... Help! Get to work. I'll stretch my fighting arm. Emir's armpits. What are you doing here, you one-eyed shitbag? Seeking a relic. It's somehow grown more wrinkly and ill-tempered since I last saw it. Fuck off. <laughs> Looking for this, I'd wager. The mighty relic! Piece of junk. I took out all the good stuff already. What? What? Then we shall take our leave. You look like you've been to Helheim and back. Claude may be a mongrel bastard, but he knows how to torture a dwarf, that's for sure. I should be cautious around here. <gasps> what? 
What do we have here? My stepson takes his mongrel eyes off you for one second. And look at this mess. To think his father expects him to rule Muspelheim one day. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. She's one of the bad ones. She's, She's the... nothing. But she has Threek's blood on her hands, and must be. Find another way out. Uh... The way we got in! Quick! Get to the shelter. I'll see to her. Promises, promises. What? Again, I see. Anything else? Enough. Why are you here? I wish these crystals were edible. Are they? You shouldn't be here. You made it back then. <laughs> that we did! And without anyone needing to be carried. <laughs> what did she say? She said you're welcome to carry her off. <laughs> Another time, perhaps. Even Thank you, for wounding the Muspels. I haven't seen any for Liberating the three of us. You know it was not my aim. That does not change our gratitude. Be well, you three. I wish these crystals were better. Did you end her? She escaped. Come, I've been cooped up long enough. <sighs> of all the faces I left behind in Asgard, yours is the last I expected to see. You sound disappointed. I'd have preferred you sent a buxom Valkyrie, wearing nothing more than a mischievous smile. And carrying a barrel of the good stuff. Now you're talking, but when I saw you in the palace, through Glod's portal, well, I knew you'd come for me. Thank you. Anything for a friend. My gentle jailer rescuing me from a far worse jail. It's almost poetic. 
You dwarves never did understand poetry. The sky is high, wood is good, and Harvey is still an arsehole. How is that for poetry, you miserable shit? About as good as you smell. Now, I have a use for you. Harvey has a use for me. Words to chill the blood. Still, you know we dwarves give nothing away for free. Do you breathe fresh air, or the stench of gloves torture us? Keep your eye in its socket. What will you have me do? Wait. What? Vermin! Thief! Face me! Be warned! I will finish what you start! Stronger already.
Sutar stole my son. Now I have killed his. A small step towards justice. Wish you had let me get a few kicks in. Bastard almost ate me once. Then it is over? The Muspas will be in disarray. Not while Surtur is in power. Tell me more of the relics, and what you did with them. What happened in the vault? What do you think? Glod tortured me, commanded me to revive the relics, then extract their magic so that Surtur might use it in some way. And you could not? How fucking dare you? Of course I could, but not for a shit like him. Of course. Glod was too dim to see that I was dispelling the magic rather than storing it. And as soon as I knew you were coming, I gutted the relics, rendered them useless. So no mighty weapon for that prick Sutur. It is unwise to underestimate such an enemy. But you were short-sighted, Ivaldi. I could have made good use of that magic. Well, if it's items of power you seek. During my imprisonment, I heard rumors. Surtur is building something. Something small, yet very, very potent. And highly valuable to him. So valuable that if it were to fall into your hands, you might do some real damage here, I think. Music to my ears. I will seek out wisdom on the subject. More ancient and advanced than even my own. But first I must equip myself with some decent tools. Starting with a hammer and maybe a chisel or two. There is a dam in the north of Vangrin. Huge bloody thing. Almost completely frozen over. South of the dam, there is a workshop. Perhaps it remains in good order. When your travels are complete, you will find me there. I will come when I'm ready. Lends me strength. How Ace feels about uninvited guests. <laughs> Everything a Muspel princess could ever want. Are you lost, Desir? That depends. I'm looking for someone. I was told I might find her here. Maybe you know her. Muspel, around your age. Goes by Asa. Father's, uh... How shall I put this? 
A vainglorious fool who thinks himself a god. Never heard of her. Then you will not mind if I stay a while. Dip my toes in one of these soothing fire baths. I have a better idea. Oh. Turn around. Go back from where you came. And please, do mind your step. That is no way to welcome a curious outsider. Care to put that away? Why? Afraid I know how to use it? I'm sure you can use it. Passably well. But then I would have to kill you. Don't worry. You won't. Hit by me. It's an easy way out. Let's keep the baubles out of it, shall we? Oh no! The godly gloating! Smite me, I cannot bear it! If I were you, I would save the tongue wit for a more appropriate time. I saw no such trinket on Sutra. Yet he too has a problem with dying. So that was you and Aetri. What squabble had you trading blows with my father? He has taken my son! And now I will give your father a taste of what he has wrought. Move, so that I may trade his child for mine. <laughs> you clearly do not know my father. Your son, Baldr, I assume. He has something my father needs. And if that is so, Papa would sooner see me dead than give in to your demands. If you want your son back, you will need something far more precious than me to barter with. Me, his own daughter? I simply will not do. Then there's uh. no longer any need for you to draw breath. Asa! We found it! We found. Oh! Found what? <laughs> what have you found? Uh, Asa would not want me to say. Asa is no longer here. I am Harvey of Asgard, Lord of Frenzy. And you are in full control of my temper. A, 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 a mural. 
Aza believes it may help her gain entry to an ancient vault. It is in a cavern that way. So long as Suter lives, my son will be his prisoner. But how does one kill that which cannot be killed? If death is not his weakness, then I must find something that is. I was searching for should be somewhere in this cavern. She believes there is something interesting here. I need to see what it is. I'd use Loki right now. The only set of knows for treasure hunts. Better keep our eyes. Eyes open. symbols, a few of which may allude to peaks or mountains. You! Can you read this to me? Me? Uh, I, uh, I, I can try. Elven runes are not something I can decipher with ease. You will fare better than I, and that will have to do. Any mention of an ancient bolt, a door, secret entrance, maybe? Uh, no, uh, but uh, I can make out this. See? Two great mountains to the north, the sun and moon above. That's it? Regrets, Asir. We are simple diggers, not experts of things writ long ago. Not to worry. You've been a great help. Let's see now. It's located between two great mountains to the north. I should search there.
strange place, reeks of death. I wonder what secrets I will uncover here. Drag marks and blood were shed, but only a small amount. Were the victims still alive? Only moose spells leave ashen footprints like these. One set larger than the rest. Sigrun and Halstein. Whoever did this, I will see that there is a price to pay. The wounds in their chests. Identical and cauterized. I've seen nothing like it. It's... unnatural. Whoever was here made it a point to occupy this space. More elven symbols. Whatever was in this wall sat undisturbed for many ages. Until now, Asa sought to enter this vault and unlock its secrets. But before she could do so, someone beat her to it. Likely prisoners among them. Injured, but very much alive. Dwarfs were taken to the center of this chamber, where it appears that some sort of ritual was prepared. The orchestrator came to the ancient elven object built into the wall. Possibly even used it in the ritual. Is that what led to the dwarves' death? The Muspels then left, taking the object with them. But the purpose of this ritual of theirs remains a mystery to me. That sigil... I think I glimpsed it before in A3 while I searched for Balder. Perhaps we'll find some answers there.
third key. Looks as though it may be complete. Well, whoever held the ritual at the vault was once here. Writings on the ritual. They are performed at night. There's emphasis on something called a salakar. My elven is rusty. Vessel of souls, I think. Is this the object from the vault? The culprit was deciphering elven runes. Something about the binding of only the most powerful hoogers. The culprit searches for a Jotun and a Muspel subject to complete their work. Muspel's killing Muspel's. from Sinmaru. There's much secrecy about the culprit's affairs. Only she and Sutra I wear. marked here, along with a second location. Another ritual site, perhaps. You're light on your feet, Asa. Following me now? You've become quite useful, Aesir. My gratitude for opening the vault. Now tell me, what happened there? I'm following the stink as it rises. As are you. Care to tell me why that is? Days ago, Sinmara ordered my best warriors to the vault without bothering to inform me. I've not heard from them since. Well, you're casting your suspicions at the right people. Whose quarters are these? His name is Kaldir, an adept in magic. Or Seder, as you Asgardians sometimes call it. This place is where he practices it. Whatever he's doing, it is not Seder. At least not as I know it. He is using something called a Salakar. It's part of a deadly ritual. And from what this room tells me, the dead will continue to pile up. Dwarves. Yotna. Muspels. I don't know what you're talking about. You wouldn't. Your stepmother despises and distrusts you. Your father only the latter of those. For now. But in time, thanks to her venomous whispers, he may come to hate you as much as she does. This is a lie. All of it. Your twisted attempt to pit me against them. <laughs> Sift through the mesh yourself. No other truth lies within. Where are you going? After the Salakar. Whatever it is, your father needs it. it Maybe the only leverage I have to get my son back. Calder marked the place on the map surrounded by waters just northeast. If he's planning another ritual there, I may be able to understand what value this Salaka holds.
Your permission, we will now return to Asa. Soon, I have need for you still. Asa's warriors, where do they fit into all this? You are one of our captains, yes? A duty I share with two others here. I thought I saw something in you. Stout, resolute. Step over here. Sigrun and Halstein were two of the most revered sons of Ivaldi. If such prestige is a requirement for these rituals, then Calder is surely luring that Muspel to his death. I wonder if there's a way I can observe the ritual up close. I need to approach Calder without him taking notice. Perhaps the best way is with deception. Come, join me, chosen ones. Together, we will enact Suter's will. Who?
going to smash you!
Jesus on this warpath. He was the last to die. How hard was he knocked into this rock? Most likely dead upon impact. Several wounds. This one put up a fight. Briefly, I suspect. Asa caught up to Calder. His warriors moved in while he pushed on. But Asa tore through them like a whirlwind. The trail of the dead reveals a direction. Called us too. And most importantly, the Southern cars. They are headed west. Bloodlust, the Salakar is not. I need to find Calda before he's a dose. In her bloodlust, the Salakar is not safe. It looks like these two brought all the fires of Muspelheim with them. And Freya wonders why I have always refused to take her on a tour of that scorched dunghill. Two sets of footprints. One is stretched, like someone fled. The other closer together, uneven and lined with blood. They were hobbling, perhaps. Asa and Calder fought here. Blood was spilt. Asa and Calder fought here. He gained the advantage. Foolish girl. Asa, your rage makes you vulnerable. She's hurt. But not enough to stop her. Looks like she followed Calder up that hill. Spells. Ragnarok came early. Asa chased Calder into this camp, leaking her lifeblood, blinded by rage and utterly reckless. <sighs> Looks to have cost her too. She came crashing in, mauling whatever halfwit stood between her and Calder. But those halfwits fought back in numbers. Injured and disarmed, she was overpowered and restrained. Calder then had her toes into a cart like a sack of turnips. Looks like they fled up that path. What is it Calder plans to do with the little... These tracks lead west. I must find Calder and the Salakar. For Baldur's sake. Perhaps 
Balder would not approve of my methods. Of the cruelty I must perform on his behalf. He and Asa, they're young, pure of heart, but lacking in logic. One day they will grow up and see life as I see it. In the meantime, they must rely on me to ensure they live long enough to achieve. Asa! Is that you again, mad one? Come to tempt fate, I see. I do not die this day. Can you say the same? <laughs> ah, yes. You've proven once already how you like to strut around, unencumbered by fear. Perhaps the Salakar did not give you an adequate taste of it. Enough of this blithering. Hand over what is now mine. Or shall I just take it? To no fear, we must be subjected to it. When I am through with you, I will take Asa's willful ogre. Soon after, the Salakar will be complete. Then, believe me, you will know fear and pain. Just like your son. Is that your best? Come now, Harvey. Your boy put up more of a fight. Why is Sutra collecting hookahs? What does he mean to do with the Salakar? Tell me! <clears throat> Why do you aim to finish my work? Ask yourself how much you care to suffer in these final moments. Do your worst! You are wasting your breath. He will not tell you, and he won't have to. His secrets are known to me now. You want them? Move aside. Move aside, or I will destroy it. Traitor! Traitor? It is you who are slaughtering your own kind. What I do, I do for Suta. Such devotion requires a strong Hugar. All these Muspel sacrifices, you needed only look inward. Was he right? About you wanting to complete the Salakar? Sutra will not trade my son for something he cannot use. So you will see it through? To what end? How many lives would you take? 
For Balda, I would drain all nine realms, even Asgard. The words of a dreadful king and a selfless father. It is the one thing that separates you from my own. You wish to reunite with your son. I wish to see my father's plans lie in ruin. No matter the price. Can you see both through? I can. But I will need your help. The Selakar still requires the hooger of a suitable Jotun. Colter never found one. I must get hunting. Do as you will. In the meantime, I'll join my stepmother, wherever she may be. I will try to learn how the Salakar fits into my father's plans. Under the guise of a contrite stepdaughter, of course. Keep it. I will need a way to find you when it is time to confront my father. You and this Babel share a bond. I set out to use you to my advantage. It ends with me in your debt. If it were not for you, I would have never known what my father was capable of. He used our people. Turned them on each other. For his gain. I cannot forgive him. And to that end, I am your ally. In Asgard, an ally is a friend. Let us not get carried away. I can help. If I close my eyes, I can imagine I am back in my favorite tavern. Oh, sweet meat, dry ale, pickled acorns. If I hear that, dwarves, you don't drink. Back to stare at the wretched.
nights ago, I went to. Are you bad? Did anyone follow you? Well, at least... Is that all? All... Oh. 